Injectors are the future because they allowed for a future fuel that made carburetors a thing of the past. And that is a clever trick. They try and play a trick on us. And cars do real-time tailored fueling, but motorcycles don't. That's not tuning, that's just hitting the piano with someone else's hammer and hoping it comes out sounding mostly right. Just as brother mentioned, there are differences between the prototype and the final production model. But in contrast to his claims, most bikes do run tailored fueling. The half-blind narrowband sensor does correct for stoic, but definitely isn't as good as a wideband one. If we dive a little deep, during operation, the ECU sensor's engine load or volumetric efficiency through the pressure sensor and throttle position sensor. It then selects a fuel map based on various parameters including how you ride and where you ride. Finally, the ECU uses O2 sensor readings as a feedback to identify whether we are actually running stoic or not. Or in other words, the ECU is checking the fuel map real time, also correcting itself in the process by adding or subtracting fuel. Over time, if the computer feels the fuel map to be defective and the target air fuel ratio on the map is not achieved, the ECU learns to adjust fueling for the desired air fuel ratios on the map. If it wasn't for learning, a 5-year-old bike with clogged up sensors won't even start. Both MAF and MAP sensors do the same job of measuring airflow, although differently. In some scenarios, manufacturers actually prefer MAP sensors over the MAF. Under your butt, you can't tell the difference between them. High pressure fuel pumps mean more atomization, more surface area, in turn, more vaporization. This cooling effect also ensures a slightly denser charge, meaning fuel injection is more efficient in burning fuel than our carbs. Then there is throttle response. In a carb, at low RPMs, when you twist open the throttle suddenly, air rushes in for the next few combustions before gasoline can follow, resulting in a shortly lean air fuel ratio. The carb responds like a camera on timer. Gets the job done, delayed. Whereas in fuel injection, at 10 times the pressure, courtesy of the fuel pumps, gasoline races through the manifold, meaning instant throttle response. At low RPMs, gunning wide open throttle, you can definitely feel the difference between a car and an injector. Where you find snatchy throttles on a lot of modern motorcycles. Part reason for the snatchy throttle emission arms, and the rest, fuel economy. See, the infinite control over the fuel map allows manufacturers to lean or reach out the AFR at certain conditions. The ECU is smart enough to achieve maximum fuel efficiency when you are cruising at 5000 on the freeway. It's also smart to enrich the same 5000 RPM for max power when it sees you at the track. But when it wasn't thought to interpret between them properly, we do get that snatchy feeling and ride-by-wire right throttles that resist sudden openings cause of emissions will only exaggerate this. Speaking of infinite control, in a car, there are four things you can adjust, each for a certain engine load. Nowhere close to 1000 values the EFI can manage even before it starts interpolating. Think of it this way, the EFI system is a car with number of jets of different sizes, means Nothing for peak power, on the other hand, can have a significant impact on torque and efficiency curves. Let's be honest now, a 100cc commuter with a slightly better throttle response isn't gonna lure anyone. Manufacturers love cheap tickets, but injectors and fuel pumps mean exactly the opposite. Yet, everyone is carried away by the fuel injector revolution, but why? Remember the infinite control I spoke of earlier? Means manufacturers can take out the NOx numbers more precisely. Euro 6 is the culprit here. The reason EFI is taking over the industry. That doesn't mean carbs cannot cut it. A handful of low displacing, low smoking two wheelers made the transition with carburetors only to find ethanol clog their sales. Finally, Two things to take away. Ethanol is one reason behind fuel injection and watching Rhine F9 is always a treat.